Hey everybody, uh, I was making a sign for one of my upcoming events and I thought it might be nice to share the process of how I put together these QR codes. So uh, let's take a look. So the first thing we want to do is get an SVG file to work with. I use a qrmonkey.org. Uh, it does look a little polluted with ads, but this site in particular is going to give us a nice clean SVG file. Some sites uh, don't give us quite as, as clean of an SVG file when it's done. Uh, you can see here, you can make a, a QR code out of all sorts of things, text, email, location, phone, yada, yada. Today, I'm just going to keep it simple and do a link uh, to my Etsy shop. So I'll post the link in here, and you'll see it generates a QR code right away. I'll click download, and I want to make sure I'm getting the SVG version of it here. Perfect. And then I'm going to go over to Blender. And we're going to just open up that SVG file by going to Import. And we want to do a scale, scalable vector graphic file. Um, I'm going to just come over to my downloads here, and we will grab it out of there. And you'll notice that it's going to be very, very tiny down here. Um, so the first thing I like to do is just highlight everything. And I'm going to scale it up. I'm going to scale it up 10 times. So you can do that by pushing S on your keyboard and then typing 10 on the number pad. Or if you want, you can just put S and um, just scale outward with your mouse. Now, once I've done that, we need to get rid of this background here. I'm just going to delete the background by clicking on it here and pushing delete. Now, this actually tripped me up last time I went through it. You need to make sure you select one of these pieces first individually, and then push A. If you just push A, you won't get all the right options on your menu. But once we've done that, we're going to convert to a mesh. Now, once this is converted to a mesh, before we had some little curve icons over here. Now you can see everything has this little mesh icon next to it. We're going to push Tab to go into Edit Mode. Again, I'm going to push A to select everything. Oh, first, actually make sure we're in face mode here. Push A to select everything. And you'll notice all these squares are divided up. We don't want that. I'm going to right click and I'm just going to do dissolve faces. Okay, and that's going to get rid of most of the splits here. I am going to probably have to go through though and individually get these little boxes um, just so that everything is as simple as we can possibly make it. Excellent. And now we have our uh, QR code ready to go. So next, I'm going to push A again to select everything. And you'll notice I'm still in faces mode. I have all of my faces selected, and I'm just going to push E for extrude. And I, you can do it with your mouse. You can go up and down. I'm going to push Escape here. I'm just going to push E and then the one key on my number pad. Oh my! It's gonna. We've still got this really small apparently. So that's extruded one millimeter. Um, let's actually scale this up again. If I push N here, I should be able to see. Oh yeah, this is only half a millimeter across. So I'm going to scale it up times about twenty again. That'll give us something that's a little under 10 millimeters across. Oop. Select everything. Go into edit mode. Push E for extrude. A one. And there we go. We have a QR code that is extruded in 3D. Now I will say you don't want to extrude this very far. You don't want something that looks like this. It's going to be really hard for your phone or whatever is scanning it to read from above. So we want it at least fairly thin, just enough that it can get some color definition. And then the last thing we'll want to do is we want to give it back a background. I suppose you could have kept the one from earlier, but I like to insert my own. So I'm going to get out of edit mode. I'm going to put shift A, add a cube. I want to make sure I'm pushing N to get my dimensions here. I want to just make it maybe a millimeter thick. Um, and let's make it, we'll say, I don't know, 50 
in the y direction and 50 in the x direction and there you go that would give you a nice little background to that qr code if we want we can export this so i'm going to push a again just to grab everything i'll do file export STL. And I want to make sure this box for selection only is checked. And I'm just going to call it QR code. And we can load that over here into Bamboo Studio. And if you have something that can print multiple colors, obviously you can just set it up for that. Um, or if you want, you can figure out where the layer change is. So here it should be right at one millimeter and we can insert a pause. And I can do that by just after slicing and you can do this in Creality Print also. We can just right click here and we can add a pause. Um, and that will add a pause to that G code so that it will stop. You can switch out your filament and change colors. We should end up with a good looking QR code after that. And as you can see, I think they turned out pretty nicely. Hit that like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.